Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Art Fleet. Today we're going to talk about how to upload pins to Pinterest for your products. And literally, this is how I do it. I would I always pin the first pin just from my product listing because it's plain and it's no big deal and I pin that. And then I would schedule, I wouldn't usually have these in my product listing. I'd have more pictures of my product and I would just upload my pins. So this is how it works for me in actuality. So I have four pins for my train. There's the first one that would be the first product picture. This is one that I would schedule out for later, for about a month later. This is one that I would schedule out for a month later. And then I have this fourth one that's what's considered a two up. So it's a long, tall pin. And I'm gonna show you the exact process of how I would upload this pin, how I would schedule it out for sharing and what I would do with it, okay? So here we go. You go and start with Pinterest. You want to have your listing open because you need that link, but I would start with Pinterest. You're going to come over here to the plus sign. You're going to say create a pin. I'm going to say drag or drop an image. I have pictures for Pinterest. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to say open. I'm going to add my title. So I'm going to put my copy. Vintage Railroad, I'm going to swap these around this time and say Antique Train Door Stoppers, because they said stoppers, I noticed. Stoppers. Vintage Railroad Door Stop. Okay, so cast iron isn't working. Rustic, let's see. See how when we do it this way, we can watch it come back. Okay. Oh, that'll fit. Okay, good. So I have this. Tell everyone what your pin is about. And I just did the research for this. The This uh, amazing railroad door stop is a great gift for vintage train lovers. The red locomotive and chippy paint make these originals so neat. If you love this, check out all the other Etsy products. Right? I need Etsy products in my shop. Nobody's ever going to go to this. Just wanted to be able to put those words in. I'm going to say trains this time. Trains. Locomotive. Okay. At a destination link, we got to go over and get our, vintage, get our link to our Etsy product. Add a link. Pick now. I, oops, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I had to get those, those boards on here. So, I have a vintage doorstop board. So, I am going to put this doorstop on that, this doorstop picture on that board first because it is a vintage doorstop. So, I'm going to come here, I'm going to say, oh, I need a, Valid URL. Copy. Awesome. Thank you for letting me know, Pinterest. And I'm going to say publish. Okay. See your pin. I want to see my pin. And if it looks funny like this, like you can't really see it, just hit refresh. And it should come up. There we go. And so it's there. I would not um, schedule it if I 
didn't see the picture there because once it wasn't there and I it made me very sad. So the very next thing I always do is I always click it to make sure it's going to the right place. I know it should go to the right place. I just put that URL in, but sometimes it doesn't go to the right place. Now, if you wanted to, if you were going to be using your calendar to schedule this, you could go 10 days, say, put it to one of your other boards, say 10 days, put it to your other board, 10 days to your other board, 10 days to your other board, right? But I use Tailwind, and I just think that this is the most amazing thing that could happen to a person because I'm going to save this once, and then I'm going to never have to look at it again. So I'm going to put it to my office board, my vintage office board. So I have... Um, I have an, an all vintage office, so I want to put it to my in, vintage finds, not desk, vintage office decor, library vintage decor, fun and funky storage ideas, no, 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 and then I want to put it to my shop, which is glamorously vintage, and it may not have taken, so... Yeah, so I would put it to my shop board also. So for sure, and I lost one library. Okay, and then, so what this is saying is that I had already put a different pin to this board. That's fine. It's okay. I'm going to say use interval. I want it to start 10 days, so 7, 8, 9, 10, done. It's going to schedule them out 10 days apart. I'm going to say optimized. If you do open time slots, it's just going to go into your normal schedule, but I like to tell it when to do it. And exact would mean I wanted to say what time to do it, so that's not me at all. I'm going to say set interval, and I'm going to say schedule now. Okay. Once I had that saved, I would then go to my calendar and do what we did before. I would say, okay, let's go back to today today and I would say let's go um, so I schedule it 40 days out so 40 days would be about five weeks I would then come in here and I would say schedule the second pin and then instead of saving it from Etsy I would save it from my oh I have to show you a trick I don't know if all calendar programs can do this but it's amazing if they can. So we're out here. I can say schedule second pin railroad. This is this was exciting when I figured this out. Okay, and then I could come here, picks for Pinterest. And then I don't have to make notes or anything. I can just do this. And it's in there. Yay. And then, and then, but wait, there's more. When I go to Pinterest and I say upload a pin, I can just drag it. Oops. Cancel. I can just drag it over there and it slides right in. So I don't know if your calendar program will do that. If it doesn't, I'm super sorry. I'm using my um, iPhone, iMac, my, my um, Mac calendar. Um, I don't know if it would work. If it, I would think it would work in Google Calendar because they have a lot of functionality in that. But hopefully this helps. This is how I literally do it. And when you were thinking, oh my gosh, it's going to take forever, it didn't even take nine minutes. I showed you a whole bunch of stuff. And you can, like, I can crank through some pins. Um, and as I said in one of the other videos, I just, for the ones I schedule out, literally I take five or ten minutes each day. I post the pins that I'm supposed to pin out, and that's about all I do. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.